this episode of the Russell Brown Show, I'm going to be talking about long exposure night photography and stacking images because this project involves several different images, several exposures that are merging together into one shot. It's almost impossible to photograph this image in one shot, so I'm creating it from multiple photos and merging them together. And it's called stacking here inside of Adobe Photoshop CS6. Now, just so you know, in this project, I'm using a Canon 5D Mark II. I'm using an interval exposure unit, as you see here, to get my long exposures. And I also have a very sturdy tripod. And in this project, I'm using a strobe to light this rock here in Zion National Park. Okay, let's get started with this project and show you the steps I went through to achieve this image. To do that, I'm going to go right over here to Adobe Bridge, where the story begins, right here. These are the images that I'm combining together to achieve the results you just saw. Let's click on one of the images here, this first image. Now this is a single exposure in this set where I've used the strobe to light this rock from the side as you see here. This was the first exposure, here's the second, and here's the third of the rock. The great thing about this is you can then isolate particular areas within your scene and light them separately. Let's check something out here. In this first image, notice that my ISO is set to 100. I'm shooting for an exposure time of 25 seconds at f9. This exposure time gives me the ability to move into the scene, flash the strobe onto the rocks, and then the exposure is done. Each time then, I can achieve a different exposure or flash within the image. So all of these were photographed at these settings in my metadata. Now I want to combine that with the rotation of the stars. So I turn off all the lights, I'm not using a strobe, and in this case you can see in the metadata I'm using a 240 second exposure, 4 minutes, at an ISO of 200. So increase your ISO for this particular project to draw in more stars within the rotation. And my f-stop is at f8, as you see here. So this long exposure then captures the motion of the stars. I'm going to take a series of these with my intervalometer to get the movement of the stars in segments of four minutes, as you see here. I then can combine these all back together. I'm going to select all of the images here in Adobe Bridge, holding down my shift key, clicking here like this, then selects all of them. Then here from the Tools menu, I'm going down to Photoshop right here and over to Load Files into Photoshop Layers. I want to bring all of these together into a single layered document. Now these images started off as camera raw images and I can make adjustments inside of Adobe Camera Raw to get the color and settings just the way I want them. Okay, in this project I now want to merge all of these exposures into a single exposure and here's a great new feature inside of Adobe Photoshop CS6. I'm going to select all my layers here with my shift key clicking on my bottom layer just like this. Right here I can click on my blend mode of normal and I can now in this case go down to lighten. Check this out. I can then change the blend mode of all of these selected layers at the same time here in Photoshop CS6. Now here's some other ideas you can use in your projects. Remember you can turn the visibility on or off for each of these layers. So the great thing again about taking multiple flash images is that you can turn the flash on and off to see what the results would look like without that particular light source. Also, you can target one of the layers, go to the base here, click on this icon to add layer mask. Yes, you can add a layer mask to the individual layers, then go in and brush out or hide particular areas, for example, that you might have strobed with the flash and then start to paint with light in this process. So the combination of layer masks, turning the layers on and off, and of course blending these all together 
with the lighten mode here then gives you the results you see. So this is a great way to bring multiple images together and stack them into one final result. Don't forget, you'll need the intervalometer and a really sturdy tripod, and in this case, I had a strobe unit to light up my rocks. Give this technique a try the next time you're out photographing under the night sky.